So I'm currently a master's student in business analytics at MIT. Um, I have just pretty much finished my courses and um, there's just one more summer internship, which is part of the capstone project in our program to be finished. Uh, and then after that, I'll be graduated. Um, so yeah, it's been a wonderful eight months or so at this institution. And I just want to share my story of um, how I feel about it. So for people who are interested in uh, business analytics, um, I could explain that in a few words. So this specific field emerged very recently because there's a strong demand for um, talents who can actually combine um, technical skills and management skills and put them together so that they can make business impact. So what business analytics program really is trying to do is to put, sort of cramp knowledge from both sides of things into your brain and let yourself figure out what's the balance between them and to give you a quick example basically you might be a really successful engineer and you're super good at the state-of-the-art implementation of machine learning algorithms but if you cannot explain that really well to your colleagues who graduated from a non-technical degree or your senior or the executive executive board who are interested in expanding their business into a more digitalized form, you might not be able to push your ideas forward. Because the key thing in this whole business is to make sure that the information gap between you and traditional businesses could be filled by your communication skills. By that, I meant, um, yeah, a lot of traditional industries, even new industries, they do not have a strong foundation in uh, analytics, but they would like to go towards that direction. So in that case, they would need business analytics people who could help them finish or initiate this transition. Um, so I think this is a really promising field because in the future, when especially when cloud computing is becoming more and more um, present in our daily life, um, when people are so used to computing things um, by connecting to a cloud service somewhere in the world so that they could um, perform any type of analytics tasks and it, it, during which you would create so much data, so much more data than today. First of all, that makes thing, um, data analytics much more easier than before more accessible to smaller businesses, in my opinion. And the accessibility to computing power and um, big data management, that's, in my opinion, definitely the destination we're approaching in the next five or 10 years. When that happens, the amount of opportunities in this field will be, just be gigantic. Currently, companies with this capabilities are mostly um, tech companies or internet businesses because they have access to the most abundant resource of data. Uh, but in the future, I believe it's going to change. So having people who can connect the business world and the technical world is really, really essential in this digital transformation. Um, so what is like to study business analytics at MIT? Um, during the fall semester, we had a bunch of uh, compulsory courses such as machine learning, optimization methods, um, how do you uh, communicate in a business organization, how do you um, manage a data analytics project with an actual company. So we have a lot of core courses uh, related to these fields. And at the same time, you could choose to do a research project with a professor or you could uh, choose one more elective. Um, and I personally chose an elective, which is statistical learning theory, which was super difficult, but that definitely opened up a lot of different uh, fields in machine learning to me. And I met really great friends from, ranging from undergrads to um, really technical and um, caring PhD partners who'd, um, who actually helped me go through this whole difficult thing um, and yeah that was my fall semester and during the spring semester you will have much more flexibility and um, basically you will be able to choose whatever course you want 
as long as they have something to do with analytics and business. Um, what I picked was uh, one course was in Bayesian inference and modeling because I think this field is really interesting and I would like to dig a bit deeper into that. And the course I took was actually in seminar form where you sort of read papers every week um, and you attend classes and you discuss with people. And in each class, there will be one student going on stage to present um, and people and the professor will just be bombarding them with questions, Q and A's, and they're just really fun. And they, you do learn a lot about the state of the art. And another course I took is uh, 6.82, which is embodied intelligence. Uh, in that course, you get to read a lot of papers as well. And then every week in, in similar format, you have somebody to present and then you ask questions and then you have Q and A's with the professor. Um, and for that course, it's mostly about reinforcement learning and robotics. So these two courses really opened up um, the research field to me. And I have um, never read so many papers as I did this year, uh, ever in my life. Um, that definitely helped with my, um, that definitely helped with my uh, understanding of uh, machine learning field uh, in a much deeper sense. Uh, apart from that, I took a course in um, creative design. So people are trying to use machine learning to help with design. Uh, for example, you could use uh, variational autoencoders or um, generative uh, adversarial networks, GANs, to um, sort of randomly create a piece of artwork or a piece of shape that um, sort of have some share some kind of similarity or higher level latent space in machine learning language with your original design of say your tables or chairs your buildings or whatever your shoes so that's really cool uh, and also that course was a more like a general introduction of machine learning to people studying uh, architecture and design so i met a bunch of uh, friends outside of sloan business school uh, as well as orc uh, yeah, and then last but not least, my capstone project, which is with a retail company uh, selling beer. And it's really interesting because it's about assortment optimization. You're, you're asked to implement uh, optimization algorithms to help them uh, figure out the best assortments at each store they're delivering products to so that you can maximize the revenue of the whole company. So as you could see, this program is really flexible. You could be very technical or research oriented, but at the same time, it can be very business oriented. So it's really up to you what, how do you want to design this program for you? And uh, at the same time, you will meet really great people, not only in this program, but also in the wider MIT community. So um, in our program, we have a lot of super smart people people who had um, work experience before that made them really mature and um, really sharp in terms of managing a project. So it's a really diverse type of environment, but at the same time, it can be also uh, very homogeneous in some sense because uh, most people are interested in becoming a data scientist or a product manager with uh, digitalized uh, business. And um, I would say it's, it's really good if, you, if your own preference is to become a, um, a data scientist, a business analyst. But if you want to expand your own uh, horizon, I would highly recommend that you also extend to other departments such as computer science departments or uh, design departments, as I mentioned. And there are also a bunch of engineering courses. Um, and yeah, you can also enroll at Harvard. It's, there's no problem. There's no issue with that at all, as long as yeah, you can you can win the lottery. Because for some courses, you gotta you gotta put a bet on it, and then you, whether or not you get it really depends on uh, their own system. So so yeah, this is a great like I would say super rewarding experience for me so far. Like I have learned so much. Uh, maybe those knowledge were not taught by any professors, but rather 
in the projects or when you're discussing with people, you simply pick things up, pick skills up, or you have to learn something from scratch. For example, you might just have to learn AWS from scratch using command lines, which I didn't do at all before coming to MIT. Um, but you just got to get it done because uh, that's how you're going to run heavy computing. Um, and also, sometimes uh, you have to learn how to build a wheel uh, because the existing packages or existing APIs in machine learning may not solve all the problems. So you might want to uh, write your own object of machine learning classes so that you could use them uh, in your specific problem. So yeah, I think, I think this is a really practical program and what you learn, what you do will really help you with your future career. Um, apart from that, I feel like the network we have for this program is just super, like super broad, super interesting and super, um, helpful <laughs> because people came to our program from time to time just to share their stories with us um, at any stage. Like it just really helped because um, this program itself is very intense and uh, stressful. So having some senior coming back to talk to you about how did they go through the capstone interviews? How did they go through the fall semester with the pressure? they select electives as well as looking for jobs and even giving you opportunities of referral. These resources are just um, uncomparable by any programs, I guess, that I applied to one year ago. Um, and, and I feel like because for me, I am the fourth, fourth year of this program. This program started in 2016. Uh, the, the longer this program runs, the more alumni resources we will have. So it's really good for you to join this program when it gets built up a little bit so that uh, it's easy for you to reach out to people and see what, how they're doing, uh, what they think about this program. And trust me, everybody is really helpful. Everybody is willing to talk to you as long as you're interested in this specific field and just reach out to them. Um, I don't see any uh, issue with um, sending them a LinkedIn message, asking for a chat, um, hop on a call just to talk about uh, whatever. Like that's just, this, this is just a unique experience. And, and yeah, I think, I think that's, that's pretty much it about uh, my uh, opinions of this specific program.